Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. Oh my gosh, guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna play some more Final Fantasy X too, like we've been doing, doing some uh, some fiend tales. Yes. Also, hello Koneko with the first. Oh my god, Koneko, Koneko, you are always here. You're here with the first so often. You're like so ride or die. I love you so much. How are you doing today? Are you do, are you having a good weekend? Were the horsies good yesterday? I hope so. I felt like my TV was about to pop off. I don't know. I, I did a, I did like this jelly glitter polish and I just put in a lot of layers instead of putting on a base layer. I put, should have put a base layer under it. That would have been better. I could put like a black base layer and then put it over it. But I didn't do that. I didn't do that. <laughs> oh my god, Twitch processed this thing, so I'm not just sitting here dancing, doing nothing. Am I gonna have to do it on my phone? What the heck, OBS? The horsies were not good yesterday. Oh no, one decided she was gonna be a brat. <laughs> My horse was mostly okay. He was just being a grouchy old man. I love that your horse is a grouchy old man, truly. I think that's beautiful. Okay, let me try it this way. Here we go, come on. Oh my gosh. OBS is not letting me do what I wanna do. Try a different way. Let me do the thing, OBS. It's gonna be real cute, there we go. Koneko, thank you so much for always being here. You should get to skip the ads. You should get to skip the ads. I feel like that's, you deserve that. So there you go. There you go. Late Merry Christmas. Late Merry Christmas. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're here all the time. And just because I changed how I do my ads, because I was trying to do the best thing for new people, like you're here all the time. You shouldn't be punished for that, you know? All right, let's get out of this screen. Resume, okay. It's fiend tale time. Time to see some more crazy fiends. Oh my gosh, stop. I keep, it keeps thinking I wanna talk about the calm spirit. I don't, Shinra, I don't. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wanna hear about the brat horse, absolutely. It, Cause in my mind, all horses are like little brats and jerks. I know. Like, <laughs> that's just because like, most of what I know about horses is through like horse girl media where the horse is a total brat but then the horse girl comes along and then she gets the horse to be cool <laughs> so in my mind like all horses are brats <laughs> so yes please tell me uh okay do I do I have any empty spots did we trap uh did we trap yesterday Yes, we did. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go to the arena. Yeah, all horses can be bratty, but generally they just need some help. This horse, though. Yeah, tell me. Tell me about why this horse was an uber extra brat. And so they're, so they're kind of like cats then, in that way. Where, like, all cats can be little annoying bitch princesses, but they just it's just because they need a little extra help. <laughs> Okay, we do need to make a party. All right, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's do um, let's do the tomb, and then for our small one, we'll put in the this doggy. Okay. For a bit of context, her name is Bella, and she arrived together with her friend Bandit. Oh, those are such cute cute horse names, Bella and Bandit. I ship it. Besties. Um, I'm 90% sure they switched names because Bella was such a rascal yesterday. Oh, oh my gosh. So do they normally live up to their names where, um, where Bandit is a little brat and Bella is like chill and cool? Um, or is it sometimes vice versa? There's the Iron Duke. Yeah, I'm liking this, um, 
Iron Duke Black Lore strategy. It's working pretty well for us. There we go. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, you have to have a Cactuar on your team? We can't catch a Cactuar yet, so that's gonna be a minute. Okay, we're just gonna do, we're gonna do the Grand Cup part. Yes, enter. Enter, enter. Normally, Bandit's a cutie. He's not the smartest, but he isn't all that mischievous. Oh my god. So he's not like his name. That's even cuter. He just doesn't understand things. That reminds me of our kitty cat, Oreo. It, poor boy. Um, we love him to death, but uh, he's so dumb. <laughs> he's so dumb about all things. Um, uh, and normally, Bella likes to zoom these, but otherwise it's mostly okay. Okay, so... So Bella, Bella's a little excitable, but she's not normally like full brat. She just likes to play. I get it. I totally get it. It makes a lot of sense to me. I can relate. I can think of which kitty cats of ours match that, you know? Because I can think Oreo is definitely a lot like Bandit and um, a lady's a, a, lot like, a lot like Bella. You know, I would even say if I was going to pick the cat that's the that is rude and sometimes a bully, honestly, it's it's Oreo. When Oreo gets bored, he literally will be like, okay, I'm done with my toys. I'm gonna go fuck with people. And he'll do that and then he'll act like he doesn't understand why the other cats don't want to play in that way. <laughs> He's so dumb. Um, yesterday, Bella decided she wanted to be a rodeo horse. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um, she was bucking and going zoomies and suddenly stopping and putting her head down basically being a brat and trying to get her rider to fall. What a fun game. I love this. <laughs> good game. Good game for you, Bella. Not a good game for anybody else. And eventually she even reared like the fancy horse movie posters. Oh shit, did you take a picture? Did they survive? Oh, they, okay, good, they survived. Um, yeah, the Black Beauty movie posters. I know, like, and the horse is like, like that. Uh, for context, Bella is an Irish cob, one of those chunky, floofy pie balls. The breed that's known for being super chill, what the heck. She was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna have a spaz day. I'm so chill most of the time, I deserve to be a bitch sometimes. That's basically what I think Bella decided. Um, which I totally get, you know? If you're like cool most of the time, you're allowed to have a bad day sometimes and be a little bitch baby and, uh, and bully people. You know, if you don't do it often, like, you're going to be okay and people will forgive you because you're just, you're going to be cool again the next time. No, it has reflect. Oh my God. This guy's going to kill our poor tomb too because he's not going to, he can't dispel that reflect. He can't, right? Yeah, it's going to bounce back on you. Just, oh my gosh, poor tomb. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, tomb. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Okay, well, we'll just have to do it again. We'll have to turn it, turn it up again. Okay, let me Google what this Irish cob looks like. Oh, oh my gosh, Irish cobs are gorgeous. Okay, wait. I'm gonna have to show this on the screen. The absolutely amazingly gorgeous picture that came up on Google. Okay, we're gonna block the game for a minute, but it's okay because we're gonna look at this most gorgeous horse ever. Okay, where where is my chrome scene? Oh, it's way down here. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my, look at this. This gorgeousness. That's an Irish cob? Wow. Beautiful horse. Absolutely freaking beautiful. Okay, we're back in time to see them die. Great. I love that. Okay. Oh, let's let's uh let's turn you up again. I know, I know. Yes, uh, you guys lost. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You went against a hard team. All right, let's uh, let's try this again. Here we go. You can do it. I believe in you guys. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think Bella just decided it's time for me to have a bad girl day. You know, she'll probably be fine next week. Normally Irish cobs are supposed to be either black or spotted or brown spotted. That pick was an Irish cob mix. Wow, why did Google lie to me? Why did Google lie to me? Google, Google, I trusted you. 
I trusted you. I trusted you. So, like, they're normally they look like that, but they're not normally white like that. Different color, but otherwise, like, that stocky with the floofies kind of look. My eyeballs are watering so much today. I'm, like, dabbing them. Okay, they can beat this guy. Basically like that, okay. So like basically the same thing we just saw except like a black horse instead of a white horse. If you look them up on Wikipedia, you'll get some good picks. Okay, look at Wikipedia. Okay, next time, next one, next one. Oh wait, I can't spell. I'm like, why isn't Wikipedia happening? There we go. Okay, I found it. But they got lots of names too. Also called the Romani Cob. Oh, I see what you mean. I see the spotted one. Oh, this spotted one's really pretty too. And they all got the feather on the lower legs. Yeah, those are pretty horses. Are we fighting? Oh no, we're fight. Okay. I was like, are we fighting a really hard one again? Because I saw Lupus was dead, but no, we're not fighting a hard one. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, those ones that I just saw on the Wikipedia, you're right. They look the same, but they were not all white. They were um, different colors. Oh no. Oh no. Well, maybe we shouldn't be doing the Grand Cup hard. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe we should not be doing this. I don't think we can kill him. <laughs> I don't think we can even come close. Yeah, even if we just flare over and over, like, that's not gonna... Yeah, it's not... Nope. <laughs> yeah, maybe Grand Cup Heart is not for us. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, well. Well. Uh, let's do, um, the regular Grand Cup. Here we go. Yes. Anyway, our instructor got mad at Bella and was like, Okay, you're gonna get a rider who's strong enough to fight back and you're gonna learn a lesson. Oh, shit. Hardcore. So she had a stronger rider come to get Bella to work. Bella was trying to do her zoomies trick with the new rider, but she couldn't. She got so freaking mad, she started snorting super loudly in protest. She literally sounded like a chugging steam locomotive. It was hilarious. Oh my god. Bella, you know, because you squashed her rebel day. She just wanted to have a bad girl day, and the instructor was like, no, you cannot have a bad girl day today. <laughs> That's so rude. They should have let her have a bad girl day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know anything about horses. That's probably very inappropriate. <laughs> oh, I we can beat this one, right? We can beat the Rook. Well, he has a guard against stone black. Man, that's crazy. Bella sounds like the coolest horse, though, honestly. I realized I forgot to pull up the stream on my phone so I can watch and make sure everything's still working. <laughs> See, here's another oversold of the white thing, and we're still not going to get credit. Guarantee we're not going to get credit. We've oversold this thing in the arena so many times, and it just doesn't seem to count. Look at that. Dead. Won't count. Alright, final, final fight. Final fight. They can do it this time. And then I, I guess they should have left levels and stuff that they'll have their theme tail. Come on, just kill it, kill it. Bella's a great horse, to be honest. If she learns that being a brat doesn't get her anywhere and will only make it so that she has to work harder, she's going to be amazing. Aww. That's good that Bella's smart. Okay, we got the bonuses. 
Yeah, I guess she had to learn that you can't just randomly um, be a brat like that. It's not good for anybody, including yourself. And that's true. You shouldn't really do that. Okay. Let's see. Can we can we do some fiend tales? Can we get it? Yes, we did. Okay, let's see about the tomb. Oh, this is the next step in that, like, jockey one and all of that that we did before. Okay. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. The fiend seems to be a key for unlocking something. The creature is totally unresponsive, so it's impossible to tell if it's living or dead. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Some ancient cr characters are written on its body. Hard to decipher. Something about the king's grave. I need to study up more on this ancient language. All right. Let's see. Is it going to evolve like the others? We had to catch him separate, so I suspect we're going to get an actual new chapter of the story. And, and that he is the fiend that uh, is the betrayer, as they told us last time. That was it. They literally just sucked him back into the fiend world. And that was it. We didn't get to see anything. What the heck? I don't understand what just happened. There's got to be more. There's got to be more to that story. Okay, um, we'll just have to see. Bella's smarter than Bandit for sure. Bandit's not the smartest boy. We love him, but he's also kind of dumb. He has that big, doofy dog energy. Oh my god, I love it. He's a sweetheart and he doesn't have many brain cells. That's okay. Yeah, not everyone has to have all the brain cells. Not everyone has to have all the brain cells. It's okay to have no brain cells sometimes. All right, we're going to do the lupus tale now. Uh, can you prove to the world who you are? For me, there's no one, human or fiend, who can vouch for me. I have nothing. There's no one who will call my name. Even I myself can't remember who I am. The one thing I do remember is sin. I was in the forest that day and I was running frantically. Where was I running to? I keep feeling like there was something I was trying to protect. What could it have been? I can no longer recall, but it was there in that forest and I felt a sin. At times I hear a child's voice calling out to me. Promise? It says. Back then when I ran through the forest near the moon flow, I heard the same voice resonating with me. Sin was very close, but I did not hide. I was trying to reach some place in the forest. I wasn't trying to flee, I was trying to protect something precious to me. Guess what? I remembered what I was trying to protect. When I was but a boy, we buried a time capsule in the forest. I was looking for it when Sin came. My promise was to keep it safe. That's why I was running. What could be inside? Do you suppose it's still there where we buried it? Oh my god. Oh my god, we get to see a kid's time capsule. Okay. What would a spear and time capsule have? Let's find out. That's right, I used to have friends. The four of us. We were always together. What is it you're burying? It's a secret. You can't dig up, dig it up until its time has passed. We all come back here and dig it up together. What was it that I buried back then? Oh, that's why he's a dog, because he's digging. Oh, that's cute. He's a wolf-type fiend, so he can dig up his treasure. Inside the time capsule, there were spheres, toys, trinkets, and a letter written in a child's handwriting. It was a letter directed to myself ten years later.
Dear me, 10 years from now. Are you happy right now? Do you have friends? Me, I'm very happy right now. Goss, Kanna, and Zig, they picked on me sometimes, but we're all very good friends. There's stuff I don't like about them too, but I love my friends. Rezo. Goss, Kenna, and Zig, they were all killed by sin. The stuff that's buried here is all that's left to remember them by. The day I tried desperately to protect this from sin, Is he going to get to go to the far plane now and be with his friends again? You're all here! I remember it all now, about me, about all of you. I had to put it all in the time capsule. My dearest memory. I'll come by with you now, too. It'll be like the old times. Aww. This time, I promise we'll always be together. So his friends have missed him while they've been the, in the far plane for the past decade. Oh, I'm glad he gets to be there now. Uh, okay, got an accessory. Okay. Sublimator. Okay, who do we want to level up next? Let's put some more in the party. Uh, organized team... Okay. Yeah, Queen Kawiril is fine. And Aquila. Okay, we definitely need some more smalls, because now we only have... Yeah, the, the mediums left. Okay. Let's get these guys kitted out, and then we'll go trap some smalls. Okay, we have two smalls. Um, let's try to get the B canal ones. Aquilate. That's what I already have. No, no, I have Aquila. Okay, oh wait, there's two Bs. Okay. Yes. You can join. Okay, let's try to get the other Beacon L1. Okay, Canis Major, yes. Oh wait, Aquilate is a bee. And Aquila is a bird. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, okay. Sweet. We're good now. Let's fiend arena. Okay, we're not going to do Grand Cup hard. We're just going to do a regular Grand Cup. That should be good. <sighs> Don't try to make it too hard on yourself. Gosh. All right. You guys got this. It's a bird and a cat. Bird and a cat's a good combo. They're going to tear it up. Oh, they turned it up against a cat and a bee. Yeah, why did you blast her? That was dumb. Come on, just do a flare. There we go. At least the other Kawiril was dumb too and did a blaster against the same, against the Kawiril. Even though he would be immune for sure. Uh, yes, we want more S's. 
there's two more small ones we can trap. Is this that funky divas group? Yes, it is. Okay, we don't have these yet. Even though it doesn't matter anymore because the trick's not working. I guess we are going to end up having to just level up our chocobo kind of a lot. Because we just have all these mediums left. I guess that's fine. The chocobo can get some levels. Don't give me any more M's. All right, final battle. I think these guys can do it. Come on, just flare it. Oh, that was plenty. <laughs> I didn't think his regular attack would do that much damage. Winner, winner. Don't need M. All right, let's check and see if that was enough. Mm, oh, it wasn't. Was that enough for you? Nope, okay. We'll do it again. After this stream, I'm going to ride Jane a starter. Love, Karen. <laughs> Hi, Jane. I do owe you a starter. I do. I only wrote one of the three, and I think I owe one to you and to three. Um, I need to reread Blackthorn. But I feel like, okay, when in Blackthorn definitely have some kind of like not knowing each other, some familiarity. Um, since Wen was with um, her dad so much as a kid, right? Since she was really such a daddy's girl, and I know Blackthorn was around. So I have to do that. But yes, Jane, no problem. After the stream, my next thing is I'll write you a story. He was always around training princesses and other royalty and how to beat shit out of people. Okay, so he probably did help her. He probably did help her a lot. The queen kept him about as a trainer. All right, so he probably did like actually do literal training sessions with Wen um, whenever her dad was busy. He was a big deal in her life, I bet. Yeah, he would have to be. I know I didn't put that on the bio, but it just makes way more sense for him to be than not to be. I have to think about how she feels about his antlers. Maybe she thinks they're cool actually. Her dad is Blackthorn's absolute bestie. He's her uncle by right, yeah. I mean, he really would have to be, right? Uncle Blackthorn. And like, as we've established, um, there's so much like, uh, I don't know how to say. <laughs> like the families are, are what they are, so like, they probably are literally related that not that many generations back because of the population bottleneck that happened. And then how the Drin seem to live since then. Okay, we got some more fiend tail bonuses, hopefully. Um, hopefully that's good. Wait, what does this message say? The Pokemon thing covered it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, go away, ad break thing. It wouldn't be too far-fetched to believe Wen figured out that Blackthorn is her sister's dad. What an absolute episode of Mori this is. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so wait. 
So is Black so Blackthorn is the the Duskborn sister's dad? That's how it works. That's how, that's what you guys like. That's what you guys have like the characters. Okay. Did did the characters know this? Do both of the characters know this, or only one? But only one knows. Okay, who knows? Blackthorn knows, but she doesn't know. I forgot her name. The Duskborn sister. Blackthorn and Alder know. But they haven't told her? What dicks. And the queen? Okay. All three of them know and they have not told her. Her name is Skylark. Thank you. Yes, Skylark. All three of them know and Skylark don't know. <laughs> We're so mean. <laughs> We're so mean. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. It is their story time. Blackthorn is her mentor knight currently. So he's her mentor and she doesn't know he's her dad. That's what's up. Messy. We're so messy. <laughs> okay, let's see if this Queen Quirrell is messy. Are you guys planning to sell me somewhere? Bavel, Luca maybe? I know where queer we Quirrells are rare and fetch a high price in the human marketplace. Some other Quirrells I know were trapped by humans and sold off to faraway cities. I've actually been caught in a few traps myself, and many a time almost became someone's rug. But I have a special skill. That skill is fleeing. Oh, I don't mean like I run really fast. I guess you can say I'm good at escaping. Yes, my special skill is escape. It's gotten me out of tight spots more than once. Shinra analysis. Captured Queen Quirrell in the engine room after escape attempt. You got me. I was so close, too. You're pretty good, I must say. But you see what I mean, right? Getting out of a cage like this is child's play to me. It doesn't matter how much sturdier you make the lock. The shockwave from my whiskers can short-circuit even Machina. Now to plan my next escape. By the way, do you really plan to sell me or turn me into a rug? Well, no matter. I'll just escape when I feel like it. I have no intention of staying here very long. I feel like breathing the outside air. It's been a while. So I guess I guess this Queen Quirrell escapes. Yes, I love her too. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's the best. This is um this is like this is like big drain energy. Let's go. What an attitude, for real. Hadn't heard. I hadn't heard. I hadn't heard that we were flying in the air. <laughs> oh my god. So she escaped, but then she can't do anything. I'm really not good with heights. <laughs> I want to go back to the cage. <gasps> Yo. Oh my gosh, she didn't get to escape. The heck. What the heck? Yeah, Jane, I don't know like how many of the fiend tales you've seen if you've actually seen a, a lot of them when you popped into the stream, but like oh my god, these are insane. I love these. I'm so glad we get to experience them together. All right, are you done? Yes, you're done too. Okay. Yeah, that was so outrageous. The other queer one was outrageous too. He was like a panty thief. <laughs> and this one was an escape artist. Quirrels are just the best. All right, let's see about this bird. Um, I'm sorry to disturb you, but would you happen to know where Sin is? I see, we're in the calm currently. I don't know whose calm it may be, but it is most welcome. What's that you say? Sin is no more? Sin will never return again? Finally, finally! The day that Lady Belgamine predicted has arrived. Where is the lady? I see, so she's departed. The lady rescued me from Sin 200 years ago when I was a seed. 200 years ago, Spira was on the verge of being destroyed by Sin. Every creature in Spira was about to be obliterated by Sin. Having sensed this, Lady Belgamine had a ship built in secret and sailed us, the Chosen, out to sea. Under the protection of Lady Belgamine, the ship was not targeted for an attack by Sin, and after a long journey, the ship reached the far end of the world. That was 150 years ago. Of course, it was not an easy journey. Giant waves, disease, many of my comrades fell after leaving the continent. We thought about turning back many, many times, but in the end, we pers persevered. After all, the mission given to us by Lady Belgamine was to live to keep the seed alive. We could not go back to Spira, 
for that meant going back to sin. More time passed, and one day the waves brought us something unexpected. It was a moon lily. That single flower awakened the deep feeling we had for our dying world. What did Spira look like now? Was Lady Belgamine safe? We needed some way to get information. After debating it at length, it was decided that I, who had wings, would go check on Spira. So, it is that sin, it is that sin is no more. I must go inform my comrade of the eternal calm now. Oh, y'all know Lady Belgamine, y'all remember her from 10? We did the, she did the challenges, and then you eventually challenged her to get the, um, the, the three bug sisters, uh, Aeon, um, and then you find out that she's unsend. She wants to break free. I'm so decided. I'm so glad I decided to make one of my sonas a quill. Right? They're crazy. I think like the the look of it, like um, the developers of this game just saw that and were like, "Hold my flower. Quills are bad shit. We're gonna show you." <laughs> and I agree. Okay, let's see about this Aquila. How are they gonna How are they gonna take it? Belga means um, no more. She, she moved on to the far plane, dude. Ten years ago, or two years ago. A little further. I have to tell everyone. I made it. Everyone! The, the age of sin is over! In this place, humans and fiends work together to survive. In this story of a tiny, tiny paradise located somewhere in Spira. After a long journey adrift, Ark Legend has entered the Fiend Arena. Oh my god, so there's a there's a place where Fiend and Human live together. That's so cute. I love that. Okay. Uh, let's get some new Fiends leveled up. Here we go. Alright, let's do the Flan Rojo. And let's do uh, the Wolf. Yeah. Fiends are friends, it's true. Honestly, that's what this these fiend tales are making me feel, is making me feel like, you know, why didn't we ever try to talk to any of them? Why did we just go in and straight up just kill kill? Um, some of them are pretty cool, actually. Like, yeah, some of them are monsters that do need to be killed. Um, you know, and that's better for them and everyone else, but some of them are like, some of them are cool, actually, and should not have been killed by us when we were venturing around in 10. That's how I feel now. All right, let's see if we can trap those last two small ones we can get. All right, one of them's on Mushroom Rock. Yep, and we need that one. And then the other one's in Meehan High Road. Nope, that is not what we want. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, well, we got the lizard. Wow! <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Let's go... Okay, there's one medium and moon flow that we need. Yes. All 
I kind of see it like Pokemon, the ones that confronted us were the ones that wanted to fight and forced us to fight under Sin's influence. The ones we trap are just random fiends going about their lives. Sometimes they're dangerous and sometimes they're chill. I think you're probably right, Koneko. I think that's probably the intention is that the fiends that you get into random battles with are fiends that like aggressed on you. Um, but it is true that you can see fiends and Spira just like out there chilling and they don't approach you or bother you or anything. And so like when we were attacked by fiends, it wasn't really like that. It wasn't like we were just killing random fiends that were minding their business. Did we put, yeah, we put accessories on them. Okay. Into a tournament. Yes. All right, so this is Flan Rojo and Canis Major. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Flan. So if I think of it that way, then I don't have to feel bad about killing all of those fiends in 10. Because we killed so many fiends <laughs> since we did the 100% run into the monster arena and stuff. Uh, many, many fiends died to us. <laughs> many, many, many. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna try to get- I don't need any more mediums. I mean, we do, but not really, so I'm gonna get the small and if any special ones drop. Don't want to fill up on mediums. A boop! Uh, yes, we want that. Next. Imagine like being put on the development for, for this version of Final Fantasy X-2 and being part of the team tasked with making all these little stories for the different themes. I think that would be such a fun little writing job. Like that would be that would be so cool to be on that team. Everyone that put this together, like just they just rocked it. Like I've ha I've been loving these so much. Winner, winner. Uh, no, don't need it. Okay, so even though they got bonuses, I was actually paying attention this time to their levels, and I know we need to tournament again before they'll be ready. So let's do that. Yes, enter, enter. Lip gloss using the OBS. Is there anything more streamer of me? Unlikely. Boom. I feel like the flan rojo is like really big for a flan. Like it's a it's a bit bigger than the other flans for some reason. I don't know. My 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 eyeballs might just be playing tricks on me, but that's how I feel like looking at him. Like he looks big. I don't know. Not like gigantic size, but like bigger than other plan, I don't know. Bring it on. I love it when they miss.
All right, last one. It's against who is that? Raging River. Okay, no problemo. And then they'll definitely be ready for their tails. Winner, winner. Oh, yes. Let's get the special one. That might help with the one that we still need in Meehan High Road. All right. Let's go... <gasps> Before I do that, Jane, are you still watching? I just had an idea. What does does Blackthorn think that Wen made the right decision to become a priestess, or does he still wish that she would have become a knight? Since that's she was an apprentice for a while, right? Like for a few years. What what are Blackthorn's thoughts on that? I know it was two decades ago, but still, like, what does he think? Okay, let's see if, if this guy's ready. Okay, yeah, he's ready. G get away from me! I swear I'll bite you. Those hands better not be going where I think they are. Stop that! Don't touch me! Ugh, enough! I'm horribly ticklish. Ugh, I'm starving. Just a little something to eat. Even a morsel? Oh, what's this then? Food? Food? Where? Like I could have it? I'm just a fiend. But the smell, I can barely contain myself. Ugh. Ugh, there's nothing fun to do. So bored, 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 bored. I can barely stand it. You mean, you'll play with me? Don't bother, it's too embarrassing. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop it! Stop, I say! Don't tickle me! I'm way too sensitive, and it's too much, but so fun. <laughs> Come on, Shinra, play with me! Hey, why not? Busy? Busy? Are you sure? All right, I have no choice but to call the boss. Boss! Hey, boss, will you take me for a walk, please? Pretty please. Um, she should do what she ought to have done. What he feels is their obligation to do. Okay, baby up. Okay, all right. I hope uh, I hope Bonesaw is doing well, and uh, and has a nice, pleasant wake up. Yeah, this is a good doggo. Okay, let's see, Canis Major, tell me more about your good doggo nature. Yes, a stroll with the boss. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, they're in that one dungeon. What fun stuff should I do today? I can't stay still. In that one dungeon in um in the Thunder Plains. Oh, he pet the doggo. Why is it sad music? Why this song? Hey boss, where are you going? Why are, why are we doing the besaid music? What's going on, boss? Oh, I get it. Hide and seek, right? Tag? All right then. But the boss didn't come back. Oh, come on, boss. Didn't even say goodbye. 
Shinra, how dare you? He didn't want to go. I, you could have explained it to him. Oh, what a dick. Jesus, Shinra. All right, hopefully this is a cuter one. The sea and sky stretched endlessly before my eyes. My feet felt the heat of the white sand below them. I grew up on such a tranquil waterfront. My father and his father before him spent their lives there. I, however, yearned for more. What adventures awaited me on the other side of the ocean? Supposedly, when I was younger, my grandfather also dreamt of the outside world and tried to leave the island. But when he jumped into the water, he didn't come back. He was lost to sea. My father and the others wanted to go look for him, but couldn't. You see, we flan can't swim. Oh my god. I hope Doggo finds a new boss too. Three years ago, my father worked day and night to learn how to swim. He wanted to go beyond the ocean. But one week later, along the shore, I saw just a pair of teeth. My father had been melted into the sea. Seawater dissolves us into nothingness. Shin retrained me well. Now I feel confident that I can cross the sea without fear of being swallowed or melted. I want to carry out the dreams of my ancestors. Now's the time for me to make my father and grandfather proud. Oh my god. So, okay, so he's he's a flan from a family of flans. And he's gonna go melt himself, I guess. Dude, don't do it. The dream of our clan is to cross this ocean. I will find out what lies beyond the great sea. Hey, Blue! Oh my god, why? Don't melt yourself! Oh, there's his father and grandfather. Dad, Grandpa, watch over me. All right, here I go. Oh my god, he's doing it. <gasps> Don't do it! Don't melt yourself. Ah, cold, cold. Yeah, I should do that. Let's stretch first. <laughs> I guess that would be how flan stretch, huh? Spinny, spinny. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. An emotional and engaged journey, IGN, true. You're right this time, IGN. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh. Uh, your late Kim will advise you from the far plane. If you can't swim well, you end up a floater. Okay, it's a mini game. Dad and Grandpa leave the navigating to us. Okay. Oh my gosh, I messed up. The salt water is melting my body away. Dad, Grandpa, I'm headed your way. Oh no, I failed that so hard. <laughs> so it is in the blood. I feel responsible. I'm sorry, son. Thank you so much for the lurk, Koneko. Okay, wait. Oh, we can try again. Okay, so I guess we aren't meant to melt? Okay. Let's, let's try this. I think if I just press all the buttons. Because it didn't seem to punish me for pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. They're giving me opposite directions I see in the text. Okay, actually move your feet. Dad actually moved and paddle with... Oh my god. <gasps> ah! Looking good. Okay, breaststroke. No front crawl. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Yes, I'm swimming all on my own. <gasps> oh my god, he did it! I feel like I can travel anywhere. Don't melt. Dad, Grandpa, are you watching? I did it. Don't melt, boy. Don't melt. I'm proud of you, son. It's all thanks to our good advice. I wonder what he will see out there. What exactly did you go see exactly? The same as you, Dad. What, you pervert? We're both young men back then. Indeed. Oh my god. Bad ending. Literally ace attorney status for real. We got good ending now. Oh, we got an accessory. Freezer burn. Nice. Okay, that one was fun. I liked that mini game. The, you know, the other flan had a good mini game too, with the making the, the little the tasty flans. All right, let's put. Uh, let's do. Let's do the haunt, and let's do the bee. 
Okay, so now I've got one small and two mediums left. So we're gonna try again to catch the last of the small ones that we need. Does anything compare to Yuna's Walking Dead minigame, though? You mean where she has to shoot all the things in the, um, in the, like, uh, gauntlet? That shit is so annoying. I use the cheese strat. Shooting gallery? Yeah, yeah, light gum, yeah. Oh my god. That thing. I use the cheese strat where you stand in the one spot and, uh, and they can't attack you. And, uh, I think that's what everyone should do, to be honest. Uh, black lore. There we go. Okay. Trap creature. Okay, to the Meehan High Road. No. That's not what I want. Just ate some pizza? Nice. I'm hungry. I want some pizza. Okay, let's try that again. Little Caesars is so good. I do like me some Little Caesars. Oh my god. Why? No. Okay, let's do, I guess, one more try. Um, Meehan High Road, and it's Machina. Uh, yes. Okay, give me Scout Machina. Not the other one. There we go, yes. Alright, now... Makalania. And we got Arios, okay. Let's mark these guys off. All right, so we've got four pods left and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mediums left to trap. So we can still take medium pods. All right, let's grand cup it up again. I've been, it's been forever since I've had some Little Caesars. You know what we, what we order typically now is Marco's. That's what we had last time we had pizza. Um, I like them. I like Marco's. It's good, good shit. We like to get the, um, double pepperoni one, whatever that one's called. I can't remember. But it's lots of pepperonis and it's good. And then, and the Greek salad. I like their Greek salad too. No, actually, we don't need S's anymore. We need more mediums. I have a Marco's right next to my Caesars, but I like stuffed crust pizza, so yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Why did you cast water? That wasn't going to do anything. Um, I do like me a stuffed crust pizza. But Marco's is the one close to us that's more consistently good. Like, the Little Caesars isn't far, but... And we did used to get them a lot more when it was more convenient at the old house to get to than Marco's was. We haven't gotten them in forever. It is really good for the price, though, I will say. Little Caesars, that's one of the things that's awesome about it. To be honest, I barely like pizza. What? Blue, what? I think, I, I know, I've heard of a single digit number of people ever in my life that have said they're not a big fan of pizza. I truly cannot believe I have met another one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Um, I mainly just like the stuffed crust of bread listed. Is it the pizza sauce that's the issue? Like you like cheesy bread, you like stuffed crust because, and those things don't have like the sauce on them. Like, is that what it's really about? And I like garlic cheese bread, yeah. Okay, 
I think you just don't, you aren't a fan of pizza sauce, huh? Like, that's what's going on here. All right, final round. You guys got this. Believe in you. I've heard the sauce itself seems to be the deal breaker for everyone, yeah. Yeah, I, I would say when it comes to, to pizza, whether I like a place's pizza versus not liking a place's pizza, it almost always comes down to the sauce. Like, a lot of times, um, places, like, especially chain pizza places, their sauce is just, like, too sweet. You know, like, Papa John's especially. Like, I really do not like Papa John's because, for the most part, their sauce is way too sweet. I can't handle it. Not saying I don't like pizza, just prefer the bread itself. <laughs> You're too funny. You're too funny. But the thing that's good about pizza is that even when pizza's bad, it's still, like, it's still, like, good. You know what I mean? Like, there's, it's, it's very hard to make an inedible pizza that you, a pizza that you truly don't want to eat, you know? Like, that's very difficult to do. So, so, yeah. Very, very difficult. Time to say e something even more heretical? Okay, hit me. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm just like... I'm ready. I got this. I can hear it. I can hear it. The anticipation's killing me, Blue. I prefer my frozen, frozen pizzas instead of buying out. Okay, but sometimes, sometimes you are not wrong. Okay, I've been there where I would really prefer just a frozen pizza because you know what's great about a frozen pizza that you can do? You can like just put more stuff on it. Like you can put more cheese on it and stuff like that and you can cook it exactly how you want to make sure that it's well done and it's not underdone. I'm just saying like sometimes, like sometimes that's not wrong, you know? I've been there, I've been there. I can totally relate. Yeah, I can nuke my pizza and the crust is as crispy as humanly feasible. Right, exactly. And you can't control that if you go and, uh, and get it from somewhere. Final round of the tournament. You guys got this. And the sauce barely felt cooked. Yeah. I, I mean, that happens at chain pizza places sometimes. Like, you get the pizza and it's like, did they even fully run this through the oven? It doesn't taste cooked. You know, it's like messed up. But I still love it, yeah. Yeah, for, there's some frozen pizzas out there that are, like, really good. Way better than they have any right to be. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, yeah. That should... Okay, this should get their fiend tail. Yep, okay, here we go. So even I have finally been captured. Perhaps it's for the best. These old bones have traveled for so long, seen so many things. I have nowhere left to go, honestly. I've been to so many places and I've seen the world change with time. It's about time that I bring this long journey of mine to an end. I've been journeying for as long as I can remember. Why did I set out to begin with? Well, it's a little complicated. When I left home, I swore I would never return, that I would make a name for myself on my own. I was, a young, I was young back then, the pride of youth. I felt invincible. I regret nothing. I have to believe that my journey had meaning. My homeland's a beautiful place, a temple city located to the south. I've been so many places, but none compared to the size and grandeur of home. People there are kind, warm, and very giving. I'm proud to hail from such a place. 
Talking about it sure brings back memories. Oh, to see it once more. I made up my mind to return at the end of my journey. Time to stop being stubborn and start being honest with myself. It's been such a long time. Throughout my travels, I made a point of never returning. My hope is that things haven't changed. Oh man. Oh man, I bet things have changed. I bet things have changed. How long has it been now? Several hundred years? The largest city of the southern lands where the sun always shines? That's my homeland. No, it can't be. I knew it. It's the Besaid ruins of whatever the city used to be before it was a little Besaid village. So we know that happened because we see the ruins all over Besaid. Even my home. Oh, it's another... Oh! Many haunts! Mommy! Daddy! Oh my god. What? His parents are haunts too? We were so worried. I'm sorry. Dad, 800 years old. Mom! 700 years old. Son, 300 years old. <gasps> oh my god, they're a family again. My f a family reunion after a very long time apart. Tentu has some pretty stellar world building for freaking real blue. Like, this game is so impressive on the world building. Um, I have absolutely fallen in love with it. And it, it's it's sad to me that I didn't give it a chance when I first played it, you know? All right, here we go. Let's see about this bee. I was born and raised on Kilika Island, and music has always been my passion, but not the old Yevon stuff. I need a sound that no one's ever heard, music with a strong beat that moves the very soul. My dream was to perform on the grand stage of Luca Stadium in front of a sellout crowd. This isn't exactly unique, but a while back I had an argument with my parents about my future. When I said I wanted to play music in Luca, they looked at me with sad eyes and told me to get out. Yet I had no regrets. I was glad that I had the opportunity to pursue my dream of creating new music. I chose to leave home, singing a little ditty and bringing along nothing but my guitar. I was only 16 at the time. I stood at the mast of the ship, filled with both hope and fear. It was the first time I'd left the island. I was supposed to start a life of my own. That night, the ship met with a fierce storm caused by sin. It sank in the blink of an eye. When I awoke, I was in Kilika Woods and transformed into what you see before you. I could no longer hear music. All I heard was the buzzing of insect wings. When I realized the sound was coming from me, I lost it and started attacking people. I even attacked people I knew since my youth. I could no longer hear their sound either. The buzzing nearly took away my sanity. But since you've captured me, I'm surrounded by silence. I can hear my heart again. Even fiends have a reason for living. I want to go back to Kilika Island and start anew. I don't know why the Gullwing got its name. If you don't, you don't know why the Gullwing got its name if you don't do the side quest. Yeah, true. Yeah, you gotta do, you gotta do all of them to see all of them. If you just play through the game regularly and you don't try to get everything, there's so much that you end up missing. Like, they really did want you to play this game multiple times to get it all. All right, let's see if this bee can find his music. At that time, I was enthralled by the music. I wanted to leave this small island and do something big. I wanted to test myself. The ocean wind is calm. Everything will be fine. I know it. Huh? The same morning, the boy staring, starting his journey had the same face I had back then, feeling both doubt and hope in the wind. I am a fiend. 
I've brought death to many humans. And to fiends who shared my dreams. I saw myself in them. What I really wanted was to kill my own dream. I can't go back to those days. I can no longer have the same dreams as that of a young boy. So I shall send you a song of joy. It's the only song in the world that celebrates the beginning of a journey. The boy heard the song of the wind. It was beautiful music, a song he will no doubt hum in difficult times ahead. Aww, that was nice. I like the ones where they get to like fulfill their need and move on to the far plane. Those are the best. Pain is literally a non-character if you just do the plot true. Yeah. You have to do all the side quests, otherwise a lot of it doesn't make as much sense at the end. Okay, yeah. We'll do the Drake and the Lizard. Oh, that Scout Mocking is not a small, it's a medium? Well, no wonder I wasn't catching it. It's marked as small in my shit, but it's not. <laughs> Whatever. Fixing my notes. Jesus. There. It's supposed to be medium. That's why I wasn't ever catching it. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, for real. Played myself. Makes sense now. Enter the tournament. Oh, wait. No, we need a trap more. We need a trap. We have uh, four spots, right? No, two spots. Watching speedruns on this game is so funny. Right, the speedruns are like crazy. Because um, of all the weird things that you can do with the fiends uh, to, to make it go faster. Yeah, we have two spots. Okay. Mainly using brother. Oh my gosh. I need to watch some speedruns of this. I, I didn't realize they used brother. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 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 Makalania. Protein gel, okay. Uh, yes, we can use a gel. Alright, there are more in Makalania. Tentacles, yes, okay. We can, we can, uh, you can join the gull wings, my friend. You can join the gull wings. That is, uh, fine with me. And then this, and then in the late game, they use the water flame that just nukes everything in sight with flare. Yes, yeah, I have seen, that's what I have seen, is getting the, the flan and setting him up so that he has, like, the ring and Ragnarok and he can flare everything with that one garment grid. All right, let's grand cup it up. It's taking it takes about two grand cups pretty much every time to get them up to the fiend tail amount. Okay. 
And a chocobo is going to end up with lots of levels because after this, this is our last of the small ones for this chapter. So there's just mediums to put something with him. I even follow a guy who made the 100% speedrun and he has all the notes of how to quickly beat the game with 100%. Nice. I mean, these games, like Final Fantasy X, even still to this day, all these years later, has a really robust um, speedrunning community. And, you know, I think that it's very natural if you're a Final Fantasy X speedrunner to be interested in speedrunning this game as well. So, like, I see a lot of crossover there. And I think that speedrunning this game will probably be something that, uh, that goes on for a very, very long time still. Um, yeah, we can get it. You know, like, I just think, I think these are just, Spear is just such a beloved world for people. Oh my gosh, so much missing. Just flare. There we go. Your opponent can't do the flare because they're not hanging out with me, so they don't know about it. My biggest contribution to this view was finding a way to skip the 1,000 words. Oh, really? You can skip that? Oh my god, that scene takes forever. And it doesn't let you skip. You have to watch the whole thing to get 100%. That's crazy that he found a skip for it. I'll have to look it up. Like, what does he do? Like, how does he make that scene not play? And you still get credit for it. He skips the most beautiful cutscene in the entire game. I mean, it is, but it's long. If you're trying to speedrun, you don't want to watch that cutscene. Also, the opening song is better than a thousand words. I'm just saying. Just saying. True. It's true. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? It's weird, but yeah, he found that. Oh my gosh. Genius. Whatever he did, he's a genius. I love all of them. <laughs> uh, 1,000 words is just so pretty. I mean, I don't disagree. I just think it's nothing compared to the um, opening song, the What Can I Do For You song. Okay, I don't, I don't think they've gotten their tails yet. I think we're gonna have to do it one more time. That's what she said. Hey, Geekstra. How's it going? How's your Sunday going, friend? What can I do for you? Oh, <laughs> it's going well. It's going good for me, too. It's going good for me. You know, I was having, um, I've been having kind of a rough couple of days, but uh, I, I was like, oh, I'm not even going to stream today. And I was like, no, I'm being a baby. I'm going to go stream. And now I feel like so much better that I'm hanging out with you guys. Going good, just gaming and waiting for some playoff football. Oh yeah, it is playoffs time. It was the wild card last night, right? Who ended up winning? Yeah, Super Bowl will be soon. Just a couple weeks. That's good, sorry, things are going as they should. Kansas City and Texas won, nice, okay. I see, I see. Yeah, I just, we've been, I've just been struggling with technology and stuff, like on Friday, um, there was like this weird issue with our VPN where like some of us couldn't get in, but other people could, so like I had to go in the office for a bit Friday morning, and then once I got to the office, I still couldn't properly connect. So I had to go to my meeting without my computer, which was very annoying. Come back, it's still not working. I have to call help desk. Um, and, uh, and they got that fixed, and I was like, okay, well, since I'm in the office, I'm going to do this part of this printing thing. I need to print this thing. So I might as well do it, take advantage, and not wait till I go into the office again. Do it now. And then the printer wants to fight me. So something that should have taken 30 minutes to do a quick redesign, which um, marketing already showed me how to do it, like, and so it was going to be easy, and I wasn't actually going to have to do a lot of work. Like, and the redesign part was simple. But then getting it to print on the actual like tabloid size paper on oh the printer wanted to fight me every step of the way. So yeah, Friday was a bitch. Friday was a bitch. Um, 
and then like on my personal laptop uh the this ha and this has happened before where like the bluetooth and the wireless internet cards kind of like become a little bit loose and then like the internet won't connect or the bluetooth won't connect well i have an easy workaround for the bluetooth i have a little usb thing i can just pop in bluetooth works again well when that happens to the wireless card you can't do that i have to unscrew all the little freaking stupid screws and open up the thing and unplug it and plug it back in it's very freaking annoying um so i had to do that today uh so yeah technology has just like it's just not been my friend um so yeah uh, just very annoying tech weekend with with many things. Technology can be a fame when it fails, everything fails. That's what it's felt like. It's felt like, okay, what's the next technology fail that I'm gonna have? And so I was like, I shouldn't even stream. And then I was like, no, I'm being I'm being a little baby and I'm gonna go stream because it will make me feel better. And uh, so far the tech has been working and I do feel better. My NUC is a nightmare when the Wi-Fi chip doesn't work, right? Right? Okay, let's see about this Greater Drake story. Well, why am I here? What exactly have I been doing? Hopefully, hopefully you're not confused because you're having tech issues too, Mr. Greater Drake. I'm so thirsty I could collapse. So hungry I can barely move. Please, bring me some food and water. That's odd. I'm not nearly as hungry and thirsty as I thought. Why was I carrying on like that? Before I became a fiend, I remember boiling heat and then someone, someone... Wait, I remember now. I was in the desert. Some travelers had collapsed from the heat. They went on about being hungry and thirsty, not like I knew anything about them. And then afterwards, someone was chomping away at something and ugh, I can't remember what happened. I wonder if it has anything to do with me becoming a fiend. Lately, I've come to think that maybe I don't belong here. I feel as if my destiny lies somewhere else. I wonder why that is. Somehow, I feel relieved when I think of those travelers, as if I was able to give them exactly what they needed. Oh, okay. Okay. Going in there and taking things apart is, apart is a bit tough. Yeah, it's annoying. The entire thing is practically completely sealed off. Yeah. It's annoying to get into my laptop too. Even though it is possible to take it apart, it's um, it's not easy. Uh, but you can do it. So that's, that's what I do when that happens. All right, Greater Drake. Let's see why you're connected to those travelers. I'm so hungry. I'm really hungry. We're gonna starve to death at this rate. Need food. What is this feeling? Oh. I want to be eaten. What? Because I am is he an orange? A fruit? What? I am an emergency food supply for those lost in the desert. I remember my purpose now. That's what she said. What? Now come on, eat me. What? Dead fruit can become fiend? Wow, this looks good. Or fiend become That's fruit? I don't said. understand. <laughs> We're saved. Talk about a lifesaver. Thank you. Oh my god. What the heck did we just watch? What the heck did we just watch? Eat me for real. That's what happened. What the heck? That was insane. That was insane. How close are we to 100% anyway? We've been done had 100% blue. This is um, playthrough number two on this file. Um, so we, we already got 100%. Been done. Vor, that's what you witnessed. I do feel like we just witnessed some Vor. Um, we witnessed some, some fiend vor, yes, uh, not soft vor, hardcore vor, truly eaten, <laughs> rule 34 stuff, yes, that is what just happened. Okay, what, what was the other one? Oh yeah, this guy should be ready too. 
Yes. Okay. All right. What are you going to hit us with? It can't be crazier than than hardcore boar. Okay. Have you visited Luca? Such a lovely place it is. Everyone there enjoys life to the fullest. What good is life if you don't enjoy it? You have to have some fun. Are you listening? Life is all about... Ugh. Listen to me. Starting another lecture. Forget I said anything. People always told me my lectures are boring, but don't people want to lead fulfilling lives? You only live once. Best to have fun doing it. I just want people to feel the same. The Luca goers taught me this. I owe everything to them. What's that? You've never heard of the Luca goers? Unbelievable. Now I'm in a sour mood. Be gone for today. Okay. <laughs> Forgive me for my prior outbursts. It's just that I get so nostalgic about the days when I ran the bar back in Luca. I used to watch Blitzball and drink myself silly with my regular patrons. Free drinks for all if the goers won. Drinks and lectures, that is. People weren't too happy about the latter. But those were good times. That bar was my life. It meant everything to me. Please, I'm begging you, take me back to Luca just one time. I know it's sort of selfish to ask, but I want to see my bar one last time. I wonder how everyone's doing. Oh my god, so this was a bartender that talked way too much. Talked way too much. Okay, here we go. I bet everyone misses you. I bet they actually didn't dislike your lectures that much. Ever since that day, the sign at the tavern has always been closed. As I walked away from the door, I heard voices from inside. It's them. Ever since the barkeep left, watching Blitzball in here just isn't the same. Yeah, before it used to be a laugh riot, win or lose. I used to come here just to try to talk, take the barkeep down a peg. <laughs> now listen to me, life is a lot like Blitzball. Oh my god. Will you stop with the impressions? Oh yeah, they all miss him. Well, if we sit here looking all glum, the barkeep will give us hell. Drink, drink. Woohoo, goers rule. So you're having drinks without me? Pretty sneaky, you guys. Listen carefully, this is my last lecture to you all. Take care of your tavern, you guys. Aw, I knew they would miss him. Got a shining bracer from that one. That's cool. Yeah, that one was nice. <laughs> um, okay. All right, who we want to do next? I guess you, you're in the front, and then we need to put the chocobo in. Okay, let's get these guys kitted out. Hey Karen, have you ever finished that lightning mini game from the Thunder Plains? Yes, I have done that. It's the rhythm game Simon Says thing. Oh, you mean in 10-2? I mean, I've done enough of them to get the prize, but I haven't beaten all 10. You don't need to, to unlock everything. Um, so, so no, I have not done that. I thought you were talking about the one in 10 where you, the jumpy, where you jump to dodge the lightning. But you're talking about the 10 towers in 10-2, uh, right? In which case, no, I have not beaten all 10 towers, but I've beaten enough towers to get the prize. Um, Cause you don't really need to beat all 10. No, let's enter a tournament. We'll catch more after. All right, let's get you some levels, Chocobo. Reverse order, Simon says, with vanishing notes. Yeah, fuck that game. No. And the thing is, is like, you don't get anything unique or special for beating all 10 towers, so no. Literally predating Step Mania Ghost Arrows, right? It's too, that's too much. So no, I, and no, I haven't beaten that. 
I don't even think you get an achievement for doing all 10 towers. I, I want to say, maybe there is. Maybe there is a Steam achievement for that, but I don't recall there being one. I think you there's like literally no reason other than bragging rights. I mean, you get like the accessories, but all of those accessories that you get, there's other ways to get them. So like, you don't need to do that. Not worth it. I assure you, player, you have never faced the likes of my minigame. Yeah. Honestly, some of those towers are BS. I think you have to beat you have to beat six towers for the prize or something like that. Anyway, I've got I've definitely beaten enough for the prize because I've got it, but not uh, not more than I had to. And definitely did not beat the tower that you're talking about with that reverse bullshit. There's just no point. All right, winner, winner. All right, let's go again. Now that we've got the Chocobo in our party, I guess we could go do Chocobo Cup too. I think I want to get the Chocobo some more levels before we do that. I just have a feeling it's harder, you know? Yeah, this Bolivar is destroying. Destroying. And Chocobo does pretty good damage too. Even when he's not flaring, that's not too bad. I wish these oversouls counted. Oh no! <gasps> Chocobo flared himself! Uh oh, we might not win this one. I bet Billy Vara is gonna choke gonna flare himself too. Yeah, I feel like this, he's about to do it. He's about to hurt himself. Stupid reflect. Ah, we still won. Good. Okay. Sweet. All right. Last fight. Last fight. Okay. Oh, okay. He, only, he didn't have very many. A good for nothing like me was somehow chosen to represent my kind in the peace conference with other species. Oh, it's part two of the peace conference. Okay. Um, so I've been on a journey of self-improvement, trying to become a strong fiend worthy of representing his kind. So how do I look? 
can't recognize me, can ya? Now I can serve with pride. Let's do this. I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready to head the Calm Lands for the Peace Conference. Okay, let's see. So after being chosen to be the representative at the Peace Conference, I finally arrived in the Calm Lands. It was quite a long trip. I wonder what the Peace Conference will be like. What? Uh-oh. Ah, are they waiting for me? Yeah, they're waiting for you. <laughs> I have to hurry. I'm so sorry I was late. Um, did I keep you waiting? No matter. We must all cooperate in order to bring peace between our kinds. Such an important goal is worth waiting for a short while for. Oh my god! Wait, wait! Pause, pause, pause! pause. Uneducated Possum, thank you so much for the raid! Oh my gosh! Welcome in! Welcome in, raiders! Hello! My name is Karen Carey. Um... <laughs> uh... Oh my gosh. My raid thing my raid thing is so long. It's been a minute since I've had a raid. I forgot how long it was. Thank you so much um for for raiding uh uneducated possum. Let me let me give you a shout out. Possum raid. I love possums. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, my name is Karen Terry. Hello raiders. Welcome in. Um I am a primarily Final Fantasy streamer. We're playing 10-2 right now. And uh, we are currently working on a 200% run, so basically seeing everything. We've already gotten 100%, we did a New Yevon run, we did a run with the Youth League, and, um, ah, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Um, and uh, now we are doing all the fiend tales, right? So I am gonna be showing everything in this game. So we're at the point where we're showing off stuff that you normally would not see in the playthrough. We're showing off the fiend tales. Yeah, no problem. Um, are you a Final Fantasy streamer Get too? Get it, Karen! <laughs> Thank you, Geekstra. Are you a Final Fantasy streamer too, Uneducated Possum? So yeah, um, thank you so much uh, for trusting me with your community. I really appreciate it, and uh, I know you guys are going to have a lot of fun here. And uh, if you do have fun in my stream, please feel free to drop me a follow. We do have anonymous follows here, so um, you don't have to get called out if you do not want to. Um, but yes, thank you Possum for the follow. Thank you very, very much. And of course I follow you back if you raid me. Um, did you just find me in the in the ten two? Uh, in the 10-2 area. Is that what happened? All right, we're on chapter three right now, by the way. So that's the fiend tales that we're doing. We're doing the chapter three fiend tales and we're doing the, this is the uh, uh, peace talks between the two fiends right now. Just beaten third and see more on Final Fantasy X first time. Oh my God. It was fun for the viewers. <gasps> that third Seymour fight, if you don't know what you're doing, if you have not played before, that is some thing. Um, that's really cool for you that you're experiencing 10 for the first time. Final Fantasy 10 is one of my most favorite games of all time. So you're really experiencing something super special right now with, uh, with beating it for the first time. I love to watch first time um, 10 playthroughs. Uh, people's reactions to different parts. You know, <laughs> he's dreaming. Who's dreaming? Possum is dreaming. Possum is dreaming. Are you lying to me, Possum? What's happening right now? Killer Mama's trying to call you out. Killer Mama trying to call you out. What's up, Mama? How are you doing? <laughs> Possum's a liar. That fight was a fever, fever dream, Possum. Why are you lying to your new best friend Karen Terry? Why would you do that? I don't I don't I don't want to start this new best friendship off with with mistrust. Don't troll me. Oh my god. What's happening? What's happening right now? I don't even know. Y'all crazy. But I love you already. Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to we're going to finish these peace talks. Let's see what's happening. How many days are we expected to wait? This is some assignment. Hey, alert the main force. Tell them the survivor has arrived. Understood. All right, then prepare for the peace conference. All right. We thought that we had made it through the peace conference safely, but... What is... Oh, no. It was a ruse. 
That's why the hum- what happened? That's why the humans were doing this! Oh my god, how horrible, how could- Oh shit. What happened here? The humans tricked you. I thought we were supposed to stop fighting each other and coexist. I throw those words right back at you. No, 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 it was the humans! You used to lull, brought on false peace, launched to launch a sneak attack. Just as I thought, they started to fight each other. No, I knew it! Saves us a lot of hassle, because they were so suspicious of why the humans were willing to mediate. Let's sit back and watch the fiends kill each other. Oh my god, fuck you guys. Don't be fooled. All the other fiends are coming to help. The culprits are the ones hiding over there. The peace conference is a lie. You were all tricked so that you would exterminate us fiends. It's too late for you to realize. How could you, what could you possibly do now? Damn you, you hosted a peace conference just to deceive us? Yes, both your kind were caught off guard by the peace talks. Thanks to that, we were able to easily dispose of those filthy fiends. Ha, you will all perish together. I won't accept mutual destruction. We must aim for mutual survival. Oh my god! Oh, the Calm Avengers have entered the Fiend Arena. Okay. We got a new Fiend Arena foe. Mama loves trolling me, but it's in the VOD. I believe you, Possum. I believe you. You raided me. We're new best friends. You would never lie to me. So, I, I know. I know you must be telling the truth. Oh my gosh, those peace talks were crazy. I had not I did not expect. I did not expect. Okay, Scout Machina, you're up next. And I guess we should go catch some more fiends too. Maybe we should try the Chocobo, um, the Chocobo Arena. Okay. Uh, yes, 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 yes. So we have three slots right now, I think? Yes, we have three slots. Okay. Let's trap! Alright, we have one more in Makalania that we need. Hopefully we get it. Yes, this is what we needed, the fish. Alright, there's one in Calm Lands that we need. Let's see if we can get him. Yes, this is what? Okay. Alright, so there's only one place that we still do not have the fiends, all the fiends from, and that is Bavel. So there is some more medium fiends to catch in Bavel. So let's do that. Oh, yep, you. I need you. All right. Cross those all off our list. And back to the menu. Let's try the Chocobo Cup. Let's try it. Let's see, let's see what Scout Machina can do. I'm believing in you guys. I'm believing in you guys. You can do this. Wait, a chocobo eater and a chocobo? I've never done the tournaments this far either, so I really don't know what's here. I can't believe there's a chocobo eater and a chocobo. Just flare. Just flare, you guys. Oh, Mighty Guard, that's annoying. There we go. Whoa, chocobos have lots of HP, Jesus. Come on, just keep doing flare. I, I, Scout Machina, you can flare too, come on now. Okay, maybe chocobo tournament was not the play for leveling these guys up. Yeah, yeah, uh, my poor chocobo. 
My poor Chocobo cannot survive the first battle of the Chocobo tourney. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we got one down. We got one down. Get the eater. Come on, just flare him. There should be a mode that lets you control the fiends. That should happen. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Does he have reflect on? Yeah, he has reflect on. Well. That didn't work. Okay, let's go back to doing the grand cup. <laughs> uh, no, we don't need that. Okay. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, back to the original plan. Uh, our chocobo is definitely not leveled up enough to be doing the chocobo cup. So maybe, maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next time. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're, we're, we're back to our original strat. We're back to our original strat where we just do this tournament twice and then we're good. There we go. Okay, we're beating him now. We're beating him. We're good. It's all good. Life preserver, okay. Welcome back, possum. Welcome back. And don't worry. I uh, I made it clear that I fully trust you since you raided me and we're new best friends. So you don't have to worry. I know you told me the truth. What's your top Final Fantasy game 10? 10 is my most favorite Final Fantasy game. I absolutely freaking love Final Fantasy 10. Um, I'll tell you the, the story while this tournament goes. So Final Fantasy 10 came out when I was, I was in like high school age, right? And around that same time, I was in the process, I grew up in the deep south, I was in the process of becoming an apostate, which if you have ever experienced something like that, you know it's like lots of little things happen over years, right? You know, so I'm over here, I'm in the corner, I'm in the spotlight, losing my religion, and I get this the new Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy X, and it looks gorgeous. And I play this game, and I was like, oh shit. Oh, so it was like a part of that journey for me that helped me get an understanding that the things that I was feeling were not unusual at all or even rare at all, that it was common and lots of people went through it because at that time it wasn't so easy to find those sorts of things like the internet of that time was just not the internet of today so this game kind of like opened up that thought for me that uh that i was not a special unique snowflake in this regard so yes 10 is just a lovely game for me and uh and definitely my favorite very very personal reasons uh, we did do a 100% Final Fantasy X run on my channel, and um, and I do have that on my YouTube. And even though I've played this played X so many times, uh, it still makes me cry at certain points. So if you if you'd like to see me <laughs> cry <laughs> in a vod, you can go find the X play the 100% X playthrough. It's very long. I'm not gonna lie to you because it's a 100% run, and I only cut. Some things, like the only things that I didn't stream was certain Blitzball games. Like I would, I would play enough Blitzball so where I was close to the prize, and then I would stream the winning the prize, right? You know, to get all the block of stuff. And then I also, um, at the end when we were fighting all the the monsters in the in the fiend arena and some of the really hard ones, I did cut out certain like item grinding to get my uh, weapons and armor up to where it needed to be to beat some of those fights. 10 is my top five of all time. Seven is, um, seven is in my top three. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that that, that matches for me, Geekstra. And, and I think that for most people, uh, our age, that's pretty common and, uh, and normal. You know, those games, they just have certain themes and they hit us at the right times, you know? 
What a beautiful experience. I think that's why video games are so relevant to our culture. They can be a form of art. I definitely think most Final Fantasy games are straight up art, like have incredible artistic merit, usually in multiple facets of the game, whether that be the visuals, the sound design, the actual gameplay, the, the plot, the characters, like, um, you know, not every Final Fantasy is a ma masterpiece. Some are, are better than others in uh, in those different areas. But I think that what is makes Final Fantasy a Final Fantasy game is the innovation and the fact that they will excel in one or more of those areas or push the envelope in one or more of those areas. Some video games can shape us to our inner being, yes. 10 definitely did for me. Definitely did for me. I was a sophomore in high school when 10 came out, yeah. Yeah, so we're basically the same age. Like, let me see what day it came what date it came out. I can tell you exactly where I was. Um, FXX release date. Yeah, what was the original release date? 2001, so I would have been July 2001, so that would have been... That would have been... Yeah, so that would have been the summer after my uh, freshman year. So yeah, I think... Yeah, I think I was basically a sophomore when I played it as, as well, like sophomore freshman, if my math is right, which it might not be. <laughs> But like I graduated high school in 2004, right? So that would have been so then that would have been the summer in between freshman and sophomore year when I played 10 because like I played it when it came out. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, well it was something like that. Um, if my math is slightly wrong by one one direction or another by a year, you still know what I'm saying. I'm in love with 10 due to its uniqueness and world building and love the detail of the game. Yeah. And I feel like 10-2 just takes that world building to the, the next step. Like the next step of Yuna's journey, the next step of the, the world of Spira. Um, and it, it, and I've really started to love it as an adult. When it first, when 10-2 first came out, I was still too young to really appreciate um, the reasons why Yuna's character grows in the way that it does in 10-2. Um, and, and why she kind of becomes this uh, very hopeful person and throws away everything. A lot of what she learned in 10 is like, that's not a good way to run things. I don't like that. I didn't really understand that as a kid, but uh, but as an adult, I love 10 too. I also treat myself to the Ultimania book. Oh, and the Yoshitaka Mono art compilation, yes. Yeah, the Ultimania book's good. I, I don't have a copy, but, um, but I have read through it. Uh, it's very good for 10 and then um and then we just pretend like those uh audio plays don't exist <laughs> we just pretend those don't exist and you know someday maybe they'll make a, a 10 3 and we can visit spira again a lot of people didn't like 13 lightning returns but i love them yeah okay so 13 took a while to grow on me um, someday I might play it on stream. Um, I've got different plans for after we finish 10 2 though, Final Fantasy wise, so it'll be a minute. But, um, but 13 took a while to grow on me because the truth is I didn't, I didn't like the way the plot was presented. I thought it could have been presented a lot more clearly, which is it's really its big flaw. And then, um, the characters that interest me most is Vanille and Fong's story which you don't find out a lot about those two until much later on in the game. Like their story doesn't really make sense until you get towards the end. And you gotta slog through a lot of stuff that can be very confusing and nonsensical um, if you're not like doing the extra reading and stuff in that game. So I can see why it gets criticized. I can see why it gets criticized. But for me, I did enjoy 13, you know, I did. Um, and I really liked it, but I, I I don't necessarily think it's for everyone in the way that I would say that like Final Fantasy VI, VII, and X, like those three, I think most anyone can play those and love those games. They're like objectively very, very good. Um, but thirteen has some pretty serious narrative flaws in the way that it presents its story. I'm also playing through, the, what would that be, 10, 16. I'm loving it so much. I have not played 16 yet. I've only watched a playthrough. I have not played it yet myself. We do have a PS5, but it's really my husband's and it's like hooked up to the TV. Anyway, I'm just I'm I'm just not gonna bother until there's a PC version and I feel like playing the PC version. But I have watched a playthrough, so I am familiar. But I have not experienced it for myself, you know what I'm saying?
I'm doing Final Fantasy Stranger of Paradise. I know a lot of people, and I can understand why, but it has some cool stuff. I might do a video essay about that game, well, about the masculinity in Final Fantasy games, just uh, just to justify why Stranger in Paradise, they are one-dimensional. Yeah, um, Final Fantasies tend to have a very interesting relationship with masculinity. I would, uh, I think thoughts on Stranger of Paradise would be very interesting. Um, I hate 16, a lot of people do. I've beaten every single Final Fantasy game on PlayStation so far, yeah. I didn't play 9 when it came out, to be honest, because like, it was like, it just was a poor time, you know, and things were changing over in the console world, you know? But I played, um, 7, uh, 7, 8, and, and, uh, and 10 on PlayStation 2. All right, let's see, Scout Machina story. Oh, it's another all caps, okay. Receiving transmission, playback, visual, Shinra analysis, incoming transmission. From where? Source unknown. Playback, 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 playback. Shinra analysis. This visual playback is just footage of the desert. I wonder what this could be. We need more analysis. Oh my god, he's doing it again. Playback, 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 playback. Shinra analysis. Oh, something just went across the screen. Was that a Tonberry? In that habitat? I wonder where this could be. Playback, 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 playback. Oh my god, I'm annoying myself with that. Um, Shinra analysis. Oh, I just saw something again. That's a lot of Tonberries. Tonberries living in the desert? I've never heard of such a thing. Okay. Let's see about these desert Tonberries. Oh, they're using the Machina? Sending transmission. Gigantic Scout Machina. Scout Machina showed a world where machines were dominated by evolved Tonberries. This is one of many possible futures. What? Possible futures? What? Okay. Cool, so there's a there's a Tonberry Spira out there somewhere. Uh okay. It. There we go, black lore. Okay. All right, we just have spots for one. I'm just gonna, we're gonna level up another one before we go catch more, because there's only two more to catch. All right, you guys, we're gonna save the game right here. We've been playing for about two hours and I haven't saved, that's a problem. But I've been relying on the auto save. So, uh, so let's fix that. Let's fix that and save. Okay, all right. So, where's my mouse? There it is. If you are watching the recording of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.